Hello, it's the Reverend Bryony Taylor here. I just thought I'd make a quick video to help you to navigate our church website and find our services while we're still in lockdown. So the first thing you need to do when you're looking for any of our church services is to open up your internet browser. You might have something called Google Chrome on your computer. You might have something called Internet Explorer. Or if you're lucky enough to have a Mac computer, you'll be using something called Safari. Um, you can type into Google or you can type into the bar along the top of your browser. If you type in bcjj.org.uk and click enter, that will take you to our church website. OK, so we're now on our church website and this is what we can see at the moment on the screen. Now, the simplest way to get to our Sunday services, if you're coming to watch the Sunday morning service, is to go to here and literally click where it says Sunday service online. OK, um, so I've just clicked on there. And now the most recent services for Sunday appear. So the Sunday service always appears at eight o'clock on Sunday morning. So the first one that you see on a Sunday when you click on that Sunday service online should be the correct one for the day. Now I'm doing this on a Wednesday. So it's the sixth Sunday after Easter is the most recent service. So you click on the title there and then scroll down. And there's a little bit of information there about the service. And here is the service itself. Now, one thing you might need to double check when you're looking on here is just double check that you've got the volume turned up on your computer. So that won't be on here itself. It'll be on your computer settings. So make sure you've worked out how to turn the volume up probably best to put it as loud as you can. To watch the service you just press on the play button and it's starting there. Now you'll see that when I hover the cursor over the video here a few things pop up. Now these things are useful. There is a volume control on the video itself as well. Okay and I'm just going to mute myself while I explain how this works. So there's a volume control there. I've just muted myself on there. And if you scroll across, you'll see there's a little button that says CC. If you want subtitles, you click on that. And you'll see that the subtitles will appear. Now they are automatically generated, which means occasionally they can be quite funny. Um, because they can't necessarily un always understand my accent but hopefully they will help those of you that are hard of hearing to follow the service. To take them away you just click on that button again so it underlines in red when you click on it so that you know that they're working. Some other buttons if you go to this button here it says full screen so if I click on that and it fills the whole computer screen for me. To go back, I can just click on it again and it will take us back to there. So that's just some little tips on how to use our videos on our church website. If you get stuck, please let me know. Um, just give me a call or send me an email um, and I'll talk you through how to access our services. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.